So we have a path of familiarity, which is to the west of your army, to where we've been, or we can, we've never been the SIG, so... Correct. We can... New places are we can so we can, right I personally like the, the idea of new places to discover, and more, um, pockets to pick, <laughs> but, you know, I don't really care. So I personally would rather go south once we hit Yurami, because also on top of that, you know, we haven't exactly been like the most inconspicuous group of people. <laughs> so I think if we went back to um, fucking Gaddock and we went down that road, some people might recognize us, and you know, I don't really want that. So I would rather go you around. You guys where we are. have good karma, by the way. You have good reputation and good karma currently. Uh -huh. Even That's still, fun. I don't really like the idea of. Going back to a place where I've already been, if I don't absolutely need to be there. What uh, what day of the week is it? Cause I know this will affect you Sawyer's guys decision. guys left Gaddock <laughs> on Sunday, so it would take probably like a day to get to your army, So that would be Monday. A day to get to Rise would be Tuesday. Wednesday. If you it were to go to, if you were to go to Gaddock, you would get back to Gaddock on about Thursday. No, oh, right. there's no point in going though, right? <laughs> Other than there's no point in going to Gaddock then. So my vote is to go south once we hit your army. To go to Sig. Yes. Sig. Big old Sounds Sig. Good okay. Sounds good to me. A decision. I that's what I said. I'll be the decision has maker. been made. There's the fucking stop button. There's like an overworld theme that I had that... Where the hell are you? Not Wind Waker? It was Wind Waker, I'm just looking for it. Oh, I'm just saying. If you changed I'd... it or not. No. You want me to just sing it? Oh, there it is. Oh shit, I never chose an animal companion. He probably Oops. shooted it, okay. Badger, choose a badger. Get a badger. No, yeah. badgers, are, badgers are literally worthless. Do not choose No, a but rage, badger. Anyway, you guys travel on the road. Do you guys like strike up conversation or you, do you just sit there stone faced the entire time? <laughs> I'm gonna keep to myself unless somebody says something. <laughs> what a surprise. Yeah. About them people that we were talking to, they kinda sucked. But no, unless someone wants to say something, then whatever, just keep going. On our way to, are we on the way to Yurami? I'm assuming. Yes. Yeah. Okay. How many days travel? Is arena. It? It's like a day. Okay, that's whatever. So if you guys stay just totally silent on the way to Yurami. Well, I've been with the pouty about not taking the cat, so we'll say that is my reasoning. Also, because I'm trying to draw something and I'm almost done, it's hard okay. to focus. Oh, that's right. So, we didn't take the cat. So, despite Maria voting to not take the cat, Oberon <laughs> is pouty for not taking the cat. <laughs> hey, you, you, what? you did scr scratch her behind the ears in exchange for a beard feather. That was part of part. That's part of her journal entry. So that must really? have. Happened. Yes. I forgot about that. Yeah, I that read that. Apparently happened. <laughs> you you like have a three relationship with her already. <laughs> well, I'm gonna pretend that like I didn't vote to not take her. So. Uh, what you decided out of character and in character, like. All right, I returned. I oh, I didn't stand. even realize you left. <laughs> well, I said we were back. I was being dead. Did okay. okay, so you, nothing happens. You guys are in Yurami. Do you do things in Yurami? What's in Yurami? Uh, I'm gonna go to uh, pea soup. Pea soup. The pea soup is in Gaddock. The pea soup is in Gaddock. Oh, or maybe it is square. in Yurami. I think it's in Yurami. Because that's where we left Kyle. Yeah. Well, I'm going to the Merchant Square. The what? There's one. Merchant Square, you know, with all the trading caravans set yeah, up Yeah, sure. There's one of those. <laughs> I'm gonna look for pockets to pick, basically. Uh, roll a spot check. Okay. Alright. Bonus. At last! 15. 
Well, 50? you're standing in the middle of a merchant square. It's actually pretty late at night, so there's like three people there. Um, Fantastic. People are closing up shop. Uh, they appear to be wearing pants, and you can assume that most pants have pockets. <laughs> are there any um, people who look... Um, I like that. They appear to be wearing they look, pants. They look <laughs> like... Um, Wealthy? People who look distracted or are not exactly focused on what they're doing. A little, little uh, scatterbrain, anything like that. Out of the three people there. <laughs> Out of the three people there. Um, one Someone of them, looks like an easy target. Uh, there is an orc with just a magnificent mohawk that uh, appears to be arguing with a guy who's just closing up shop like he's trying to buy something, but the other guy is just trying to get him to piss off. All right, well, I'm going to make a pass by him, um, kind of like I'm walking towards uh, the shop that's in his general direction. And as I make okay. a pass by, I'm going to try to pick his pocket, so. Okay, so Slated first hand. first make a hide check to make sure, sure. that uh, nobody sees you. That's my hide check. You're pretty, you, you think you're pretty sneaky. Okay. Make a time to slay a hand. So you reach into the orc's butt pocket, mm -hmm. and like, are you looking for anything specific, or are you just gonna grab um, whatever is in like there? Kind of like a first thing I grab sort of thing, but if it's like a like a gem or something. I guess is what I'm looking for. I'm not gonna grab like a single coin and be like, oh man, I'm rich, you know, but... <laughs> okay, so the first thing you grab is kind of sticky and gross. Do you take <laughs> it or do you look for something else? No, I'm gonna look for something else. <laughs> okay, make another sleight of hand check. Sticky ass. Like a tongue <laughs> bag or something. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so... <laughs> um, it wasn't gonna be that, but okay. Well, now it is that I mentioned it. No, it's not. So, past the stickiness, you, you do, you feel a little pouch, and it, and it feels like it has things in it. Sure, I'll grab that. Cool, you grab it. Alright, now I'm gonna keep, you know, I casually slip into my own pocket and keep walking towards one of the, the store that I was walking to, one that was closed. Yep. Yep. Okay. Uh, when I reach the, the, I guess the store where the, the front desk is, you know what I mean? Like the thing that they stand behind or whatever the fucking yeah, yeah. counter. It's, yes. It's, I'm gonna, it's like, it's like a fucking kiosk, man. It's a merchant square. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kiosk thing. That's what I was looking for. Um, what does this shop, what does this kiosk look like that they sell? Um, you can't tell because the person behind it is packing everything up. Okay. Well, I'm gonna dump out, or not dump out, but I'm gonna open that pouch in front of, on the kiosk, but out of okay. the orc and see what's in there. Okay, so you open the pouch and you dump it out. And nobody really notices you do anything. Okay. Some some coins clank onto the counter. Okay, how many coins? You think it's about one gold, twenty five <laughs> silver, and three copper. Okay. Mm, all right. Well, since everyone's packing things up, I guess I won't bother asking. Like, oh, you said one copper or five copper. Let's go with three. Let's cut the difference. <laughs> sure. Um, since everyone's packing up, I guess I'm not going to bother trying to purchase anything because there's no point because everyone's leaving. But So what's everybody uh, else doing while uh, Herr Delis is doing the sneaky snake? Yeah, that's probably the end of the show. I'm not sure. I wasn't sure what this town to begin with. They have the pea soup or not? Yes, this town has the tavern with the pea soup. Well, then, I have no idea. There's a tavern. There, there's the magic college. There's some stores and stuff. 
through some churches and stuff. It's by I don't a know. lake. It's by a lake. <laughs> Grizz is going for a swim. <laughs> do you take your armor off first? Don't do it. Yes. I do. Um, um, how naked do you get? To my, uh, white underpants. Okay. <laughs> your white underpants. So, first, make a jump check to jump into the canal thingy. <laughs> Oh, this is probably a horrible idea. Probably. You might drown. <laughs> Alright, we got plus eight. Fuck. Damn it. I need to do spaces. D oh, we have to do roll d20. There we go. Okay, you're, you're not awful at swimming, I guess. <laughs> By the way, what did you have in your inventory? Uh, uh, you mean like my like weapons your, and everything? Your weapons and your armor and your money, you know, everything that might be in your inventory that you, you just left at the side boy. of the canal. <laughs> <laughs> you know, all that. Oh, just nothing. There, I didn't okay, have anything. It's okay. I'm standing with Grizz's stuff, looking kind of forlorn because apparently Oberon can't swim. Okay. <laughs> okay, I can dig it. So I'm guarding his. I was hoping so I, I was know. being accompanied. I think. Uh, I, I guess Lissandra will be there too. I'll just. I just, I'm Buddy. not really doing much, so I'll just be standing there as well. Everybody's watching me swim. Basically. Yep. <laughs> I'm not watching swim. I'm, I'm Jump in, you weirdos! <laughs> Bear. Grizz, my friend, I don't know how to swim. What? Whenever it goes back to my turn, I'm gonna be kind of walking through the back alleyways and shit. Okay. So. Um, so... Everybody who's accompanying Grizz, except for Grizz, make a spot check. <laughs> you notice there's a crocodile in the water. <laughs> it's d20 plus your spot. Okay. Wisdom. Manner... Yeah. Plus what? Wisdom. Plus your spot skill, plus your wisdom. I don't think I have any wisdom. I don't. So just a d20 plus spot skill. Where the fuck are you, character sheet? I don't know. Uh, it's a one. Right, no. Fuck, how do I do this shit? <laughs> slash R, or slash roll d20 plus your spot. Or you could just use the dice roll there, because it's easier. <laughs> I prefer typing in my rolls. <laughs> I don't need to help. I used to know how to do this, and now I have no idea what I'm slash doing. Slash roll d20 plus whatever your wisdom is plus your spot. I got a 15! Yeah. yeah! That's a number. everything. <laughs> well, there. What do we see? Or not see? Nothing. So, <laughs> no, actually, all of you see a concerned looking citizen. What the fuck? Um, <laughs> run over, they look at the dwarf strip <laughs> down and jump into the canal or whatever oh. it is, the water place and they run over to a guard and they, they appear to be talking to a guard about it and all of you see this, and all of you see that all of you see this yeah, why the fuck did you jump into the canal randomly in the middle of the night? <laughs> I thought you said lake I'm like Wait, okay, it's a lake, but it's not just like there's a lake right there. If you look at the map, it like goes out to the ocean and there's a river. So there's like a place set up where ships can go and stuff. So you docks. You, you you jumped off of a docks. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sounds good. Okay, so they run to tell a guard. Why? 
It's a uh, kind of fucking dwarf of the water. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's uh, you. If you continue looking over at the conversation with the guard, that appears to be what the citizen, uh, from their general mannerisms, would be getting across. Okay. So. Why would the guard do it? Is anybody going to alert Grizz or? Uh, What's Grizz, going on? Grizz, you might Grizz. you might want to get out of the water, like My now. Friend, I think they fancy a swim with you. <laughs> Hop in, everyone, join me. I'm going to grab Come Sirion. back and see a bunch Sirion, of people sleeping in the fucking water. Roll whatever check roll. What? Well, I'm gonna grab Tyrion. So roll whatever check you gotta roll. <laughs> okay. No, um, no, no. Make a, make a grapple check, V Tyrion. Okay. Uh. <laughs> Yeah, make opposed grapple checks to each other. Grapple check. What's a grapple that, check? A d20 plus your grapple <laughs> modifier. Okay. Thank you, fuck, dude. Hold on, I ate mine. It's got the old values in it. Be okay. right back. Fuck. Hold on. Dang it! Ah, oh, shit. That's not good. Did I get it? Did I still yes. get it? Uh, After some struggle, you manage to uh, lift Tyrion. Keep in mind, he has all of his equipment still on him. Uh, so I have kept in mind, and by that I mean I did. And also, I'm going to yell, Chris! I bring you a swimming buddy! No! Yes! Yes! No. Uh, are you going to try and throw him in? Are you going to try and throw him in? Yeah, probably. Okay, make a strength <laughs> make a strength check to try and throw him. Just twenty plus your strength modifier. No please <laughs> You may want to take off your clothes. Uh Lissandra does look at you as you appear to be doing this and she's just like, I don't think this is the best idea. Oberon, please do not throw me in the water. It's okay, I think I just like slipped. Uh, <laughs> So, no, you do throw him. Uh, you throw him. But it's not in the water. You don't manage he to throw him that. far enough. Uh, huh. And he hits a rock and dies. Tyrion, make a reflex save. Okay. Um, I've got good reflex, but this might end badly. Okay. Oh. I Did you happen to give us rope in, like, a pre-built adventuring kit? Sure. Okay. So wait, yes. they're trying to throw each other into the thing now, right? So, well... midair, you notice that your trajectory is not enough to uh, just propel you straight into the lake. So, you manage to grab onto the side of the docks as you're falling. And like, you know how docks are. Yes. Like, you're not quite in the water. It's you're a just kind dock. of hang. You're just kind of hide, uh, hanging above it. Can I pull oh. myself up? Can you make a climb check to pull yourself up? Oh, well, he's. Can I to pull swim up, up and grab his leg? Uh, <laughs> I was gonna say, while he's trying to pull himself up, Haywood's going to call to Grizz and say, "Grizz, grab the elf's legs. He'll pull you up." <laughs> So, no. I would say that you would have to make a reflex to save in order to get there in time, but, uh, and so, Tyrion doesn't quite manage to pull himself up. Okay. He's struggling with it a little bit. He does he's, he's still hanging on. Okay. But, uh, Lissandra, make... please help me up. I'm gonna try and pull him in. Um, do I have make to do the reflex? Make a check to swim. get over there first. Swim. Lissandra is going to assist on trying oh. to pull him up. Plus eight. Okay. Yo, damn it. I'm going to look at Tyrion and go, Tyrion, you are much fatter than I thought you were. <laughs> <laughs> Lissandra oh, yeah. manages to get over there and try to help him up before you start pulling on his leg, so... But that's just no fun. Okay, make another climb check. Um, I'm glad I'm not here to witness this. Oh, oh okay. it's a good thing, I would have thrown you. <laughs> With Lissandra's help, you're on your way. You have like one foot on the dock. Bear, I'm going to search my bag to see if I find any rope in it. I'm gonna make one last grab out. at his foot. Um, Can I make reach? a jump. Make a jump check to try and get through his. Uh, 
Fun fact, this is gonna be obscenely high because you're oh. <laughs> I got hot. Um and make a reflex save to grab his foot midair. Uh... Oh fuck. <laughs> can I so... can I kick him? Um hold on. There are gonna be like three rules that are going on here. Hey bear. I'm going to use my healing skill to treat my rope kind of like a tourniquet and tie a knot around the, uh, around, like, the railing of the dock. Um, that would be a use rope check. <laughs> well, <laughs> but... A... You may or may... You realize <laughs> in your, uh, proficiencies as a healer that a giant log is a lot different than a human arm? It's kind of like an arm. You're also no. using rope, which is different than the material you use for a tourniquet. It I'm would be a use. Knot. Yes, which is a use rope check when you're tying a knot with rope. <laughs> well, what if I'm tying it with magic y tourniquet? Stuff? Why would you want to be tying a magic <laughs> rope? Why? Why not just. It, tie is a not rope? A, it is not a magic rope, it is a normal rope. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, so you got it around there. It appears that the knot is naughty. Um, we're gonna deal with this mess with all the rest of us. So, Grizz is gonna be trying to pulling him down. Tyrion is gonna try to kick Grizz in the face. And Lysandra is going to tr continue trying to pull Tyrion up. So... Tyrion make a melee attack roll, Grizz make a strength check, and Lysandra will make a strength check. That's bad. Uh, five plus my strength, so one. Yep, plus your base attack. Bonus. Yes. God, I can't roll for shit right now. Um, <laughs> so what is your AC without your armor, Lance? Uh... Just so just 14. Oh, so yeah, he kicks you in the face. <laughs> yes. Um bad news though. Lissandra's really bad at pulling things. <laughs> and with the combined weight of you and Grizz, she loses her grip. <laughs> so oh, well. you do you do kick him in the face. And <laughs> He does let go of your leg, but it's too late. He's pulled you over. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm tossing the rope down, and I'm going to call to them, Grab on to the rope, friends. The rope will save you. <laughs> Toss the rope down. Why, we're just going for a nice little swim here. Ain't that right, Tyrion? You are a dick. <laughs> And By I'm the way, there the is, like, a ladder at the side of the dock in case <laughs> this kind of shit happens. <laughs> I'm gonna go to the ladder. Tyrion's still fully ladder. close, right? Yes. Yeah, uh, yes, make I a, am. Make a swim check. Oh, my God. I would God. say, friend, Mother never taught me how to swim, but I don't think you're doing it right. <laughs> That's better. Check out my backstroke overall. You, 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 make, <laughs> you make it to the, uh... You make it to the ladder. In the meantime, there's that one guard approaching you. <laughs> By the way, he just saw Oberon throw, <laughs> and throw somebody into the dock. So the guard approaches all of you on the dock. He's just like, so uh, what appears to be the problem here? It's a dwarf. It's a dwarf. No beard, but a glorious mustache. I'm going to look at him with all. Grizz! Is this your brother? Oh no! What? <laughs> I have no brother. Oh. Well. That makes sense. Are you <laughs> right in the head, laddie? He says Shout as he Grizz strokes his mustache mother. authoritatively. Who's he talking to? Uh, Oberon. I'm going to say, well, sir, mother would beg to differ, but... I'm gonna look at him, I'm gonna look at the water, I'm like, do you know how to swim? <laughs> Good! Grizz, new swimming buddy! Oh my god. Oh my god. No! Um, I'm Are going you going? To... 
I'm gonna okay. I'm gonna try to roll a diplomacy check to try and convince uh, Oberon not to do this. Okay. Um. Hey, cuz I rolled an eleven. The law on the barrier. Well, I'm pretty sure I beat that because I have a bonus of plus thirteen on this. Jesus. Oh, okay, good. Oberon. So... This man works for the city. We do not want to throw him into the river. <laughs> Connect. If you say so. <laughs> Apparently, because I can't argue against that, I don't think. Um, do you feel... You see his point that, that it would probably be a good idea not <laughs> to throw the city guard into the canal. <laughs> but, um... Like... You realize it'd be an awful idea, <laughs> but you still can if you really, really want to. Never thought the day would come when I'd listen to a man with a sparkling silver chastity belt. <laughs> Here we are. Then I'll turn to him and I'll be like, My apologies, sir. First I mistook you for my friend's brother, then I was going to throw you into a lake, river, water, thing. Perhaps another day. And then I'm just gonna go, like, stand over to the side, because... I'm not really feeling like arguing. Oberon, where are they? The, the guard turns to a uh, Haywood, and he takes out his little nightstick and points it authoritatively and is like, You better keep your friend under control! <laughs> oh shit. I'm gonna yell, Grizz, get out of the water! He's pointing sticks at us! <laughs> Ow. Sticks again? God! Oh, your crazy dwarf friend who jumped into the canal all naked. He's wise, Mantle! Get him! If her, Get him! <laughs> if Herod at least was here, he would be getting traumatic flashbacks. Oh, Stick I'm, pointing I'm... everywhere. He was going to talk to the, to the guy, and he's going to say, I'm sorry, sir, I have little control over these people. They just kind of, um... They kind of do as they please. Well, you seem to know them, so maybe you'd better get control over them. <laughs> And you, young lady, that. that goes for you, too. <laughs> or a native stick pointing at Lysandra. <laughs> she just kind of... She's... <laughs> she merged. <laughs> she doesn't even know what the fuck's going on. I like how Lysandra made no attempt to stop me from attempting to throw a guard. <laughs> well, well... Heywood got in there. He was Haywood on the ball. got in there beforehand. And she's pretty sure that she can't outmatch you physically, and you did intimidate her. I that was gonna say time. he did intimidate her quite, quite much. Yeah. I was tired and sleepy and confused. You like? Destroyed I'm not her. saying it was a poor thing to do. I'm just giving justification for the NPC's actions. Well, I'm just going to say now that Grizz just yelled he's white mantle, and so I'm getting ready to go. <laughs> Like, I, did, I probably didn't see the stick, take though. Your sticks at me? <laughs> We're gonna get kicked out of this right town. Now. Like, add, seriously. Add one to that. That's a 29. <laughs> I'm, gonna be try I'm gonna be talking to uh, Oberon again. Oberon! Oberon that's not make... the same stick of the white mantle. Ma make the a will save. Make a will <laughs> save. Yep, you. What is that? Uh, underneath reflex. Yeah, plus your will modifier. Oh, my will? Wait, what? Oh, there it is. Nah, I don't. Yeah, 13. What do I do here? He would say your words. Oh, I already did. I said, oh. Oberon, that man's stick is not the same as the white mantle's. Please do not fight this man. I take it I'm convinced. Uh, you take a pause in time, you take a moment to look at the stick again, and you can see that it's just <laughs> a fighting stick and not a magic stick. Alright, I'm gonna look into like this then. Oh my eyes. I'm gonna like, go and stand behind Lysandra, because I don't want people shaking sticks at me. Uh, you stand behind Lysandra. You dwarf her waifish figure. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> um, and not in the, like, dwarfy dwarf way, like the <laughs> she looks really small way. I believe it. Did Tyrion make it out of the water? Yes, Tyrion is out of the water. Dripping wet. Oh, by the way, uh, any arrows you have, they're ruined as fuck. Oh, thanks. 
<laughs> I mean, that should be a good thing. Oh, this is um, fantastic. Well, we never had to actually remember. We never had me actually buy arrows, so I I couldn't remember if you had like any special arrows or not. I did not. Oh well, okay. You get some more arrows before you <laughs> leave town. Just... <laughs> I would I would like to go buy some if I can. Um, the shops are all closed for tonight, but you probably would be staying, so you'd pick them up in the morning. Okay. Grizz is gonna swim over the ladder and begin his ascent. <laughs>